Hey guys, Calibus Ryan here. As we go into part two of the first contact day video that we started, and I wanted to uh, bring to you guys' attention what we were doing. I, I wanted to do the commentary over it, and I was trying to do it live, and I just couldn't get it right. But um, I wanted to give you that part two of it because it's a, it's a very, very great interview, and we take it up with Mr. Bo Llewellyn asking his question. So let's get it started. I definitely want to take a turn. Tom, yeah. you doubled, or not doubled for. Now, again, I was trying to put all these pictures together so you guys can see that, but I'm going to have this collage and uh, of, you know, first contact day with the stuntman, and I'm going to put the pictures there, and you guys can see it on the Cosmic Portal uh, page, and I might do just a video and put it on here on the YouTube channel so you guys can see this stuff because it was really it was really symbolic of the day. Um, again, Mr. Tom Morgan, uh, Morga, excuse me, doubled for J.G. Hertzler, who we've had on the show. Dennis, greatest American hero, stunt coordinator for um, DS9 Voyage. I mean, this this is great Trek stuff. All right, let's get back into it. Their cast was so like family. Now, I wish, <laughs> I wish I had that picture to show you guys, but he's going to show you best he can on the screen. He's got two of them, actually. And I need you to look closely at these two pictures because it's going to blow your mind. When we were, yeah, yeah, when we were at the uh, front of the house, I got to open this up. Uh, the street opened up and we all tumbled in, and here's a photo of Oh, so it was at that time. That's awesome. They really went all out on getting that street to crack open and move and the car went in. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they sure did. And they could have very well went cheap with that. They could have just done a little shaky camera, but they didn't. They built the whole. Unfortunately, the car had emergency and he had to go. He had a work emergency. He had to go. Um, I convey my, uh, you know, my apologies after the fact, but that was part of that. Yeah, they wanted to have it real. And then the other thing, if you remember when they were going up to the top of the ship, about her name, we, uh, Lady who was uh, Sigourney Weaver. No, not Sigourney. It was, it was the one that says, Are you gods? And then she zapped him. Uh, oh, you mean Gozer? Gozer. Yeah, I can't remember the name. Amy Gozer. 
she uh, she gave us the thing with them, and then they put it in the stomach. We were all shocked because I had looked at his IMDb thing and I didn't see all that. So there is stuff on there that you don't, you just don't see. Between them, these two men, along with their friends, uh, Chester Tripp III, George um, Colucci, they've got so much of our fandom between them. Between these four men, there is so much of our fandom pushed into these guys. And we were lucky enough to get them here on this show. Um, I'm going to reach out to Chester and George again. But this was just such an amazing thing to, to hear some of these things. Now, of course, you know, we're going to be doing um, the Cosmic Portal Ghostbusters soon. Uh, <laughs> there's so many cosplays and so many things that are now just now happening to me that I, i'm trying to keep up with but i'm gonna try to get um tom back again of course to talk about his ghostbusters thing and of course dennis and 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 um and george and then chester i'm gonna try to get them back on the show because we've had them on the show a number of times uh, all except for tom and um i believe he enjoyed the experience enough to come back so let's get back to it i was spent God, I love hearing that. The audience that makes it. So it's the people sitting in those seats. And that's what we always say when we meet fans. If we go to a convention or something, we always tell them, listen, we're only here because of you. We're not the ones who are the, you know, we don't deserve a lot of accolades necessarily. We've done a lot of shows doing things that would be really neat. But you're the ones who decide what is good. And the reputation, of anybody's reputation is held in the opinion of other people. Thanks again, Tom. I appreciate that. <laughs> now, um, that that story was just like you know so so surreal for me, as I you know went on to start to you know ask them about uh, his experience yeah, being Tom, a Ghostbuster. Tom is like he's all over. Tom, tell them about Tom doing all of all. Of well, not all of them. Might be a few years. I I was fortunate. To I was asking him about the convention circuit, and when he would be coming to Virginia 
to do one. I would love to try to get them into a convention here in Virginia, you know, because I want to see them, obviously, and get their autographs. Speaking of which, oh, let me zoom this back in here. Speaking of which, Dennis gave me this one. And look at that with Picard. So I keep this right up here. It's got his little greatest American hero thing on there. Uh, great friend of the channel. And I was so lucky that he, you know, he has the connections to bring his friends onto our channel. But I was asking them about the conventions and when they were come to convent, uh, when they would come to Virginia, if they could come to Virginia, that sort of thing. And uh, this is Tom's response. Good, Tom, good job. And uh, one more. I have been to a couple of, I've been to a Star Trek convention for years, so I don't know if I'd get a chance to go there. I think Creation is the company that runs those, and I, I think it's early to Man, I'm telling you, I would love to get them to go to a con. And I didn't know that he was Jason and Michael Myers. And that blew my mind. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking about that because my wife is a huge horror fan. We've seen every rendition done of Michael Myers. Her last name was Myers, which, and her brother's name is Michael, right? So, I mean, like I kept saying, I was like, man, we've got to get you guys down here to Virginia to do, you know, to, to try to get into you into a con. And, uh, that iconic status of those two horror icons was just amazing. You know, um, having them on the show like this again, guys, was just such an educational experience. But yeah, the, the greatest American hero, I mean, because I had said to Dennis, no disrespect, but every time I see you, Dennis, that's the first thing that comes to mind. I know he has this big buildup for Star Trek, but The Greatest American Heroes was one of my favorite TV shows growing up, and that's the guy that did it. That's the guy that made that show look so good. I mean, William Catton is acting, of course, but you guys guys remember the stunts. We love the actors and all this other stuff, but we love what they do, how they make us feel when they're doing these heroic things, and these are the guys that do that. Man in business, if they would have read the pilot of the Greatest American Hero, and they would have felt the same way I did, like, I'm gonna double this this guy because he can't fly. I could never get over that. <laughs> Rocket man.
The suit. He he still has the suit.
And that right there is the greatest thing you can ever have. They have a connection with the people that they did the stunts with. I mean, just just amazing. I I, <laughs> I couldn't believe it because I was laughing so hard about that. You know what I mean? Just to know that they had that connection and that he was doing that sort of things. You know what I mean? Just to bug William Cat, And they stayed friends. They're still friends to this day. They call each other. They text each other. Um, you know, and just like the next generation. Uh, so this, this is what I got when I first started in, in Lumita. Next generation actors, they're all friends. Unfortunately, the original crew of Star Trek aren't, but you know, and then, um, you know, I was asking Tom about his experience as that first Klingon, that iconic Klingon that we saw in the Star Trek motion picture. He kept something from the set, and he's about to show you. Oh, that's cool. Hold on my head, and then they, they put uh, the Klingon headpiece on, and I just took one of them home. So this this headpiece is what I wore. Wow. All that. Wow. That's my real head. <laughs> so amazed at um how this thing all turned out, how everything came together. And we um, we got to talk to these people about what they were experiencing and doing. And I wish I could have had this one big thing for you guys, but I had to break it up. And I really wanted to talk throughout it without it seeing, you know, I mean, kind of too mashed together. But uh, here we go in, these, in, the, in the last stages of the interview. Let's get back to it. We'll get Georgie and another buddy, Irving. Oh, wait a minute. Let's come back. Let's come back a little bit. Jeff's going to be gone in a week, if not in a... Dennis talking about... I know that episode. Yeah. Okay. Let's stop this right here. The episode he's talking about is that Next Generation episode. I didn't realize that was Dennis in the turbo lift until he said it. It's one of the first episodes of Star Trek, you know, when they had the whole stretch suit jumpsuit thing and dennis talks about it and i was you know right here's where i'm saying hey i didn't realize that was you in there and now that you told me i want to go back and watch it and of course i did i did yesterday <laughs> so i know that episode <laughs> and that's Bo confirming about that episode because you know it's next yeah, generation message of that day in that episode and I tell everybody in real life, not just people in the business, but real life that really counts, is that you never know what one day can lead to. You never know what one little moment with one person leads to. And that one day turned into so many friends that we've all made in that circle of Star Trek and beyond. So, you know, I always tell the new some people or anyone Get on the set, uh, work for free, uh, pay them if you have to, but get on the set and do the magic and, and make some friends because uh, everywhere I go now, uh, when I was young and I started, I didn't think about it. But over the last bunch of years, every set I go on, I want to I make some friends. I want to make some new friends. I want to work with, with original friends too. I want to make new friends. I always go there with happy energy and, and, and get out all the crazy the talent and get people excited and get the directors and producers of what they're looking for and more. And when you go home, you know, your paycheck's going to be gone in a week, if not in a day. So what, what do you leave behind is that day, that happy moment, those people are hitting your five because do something cool, uh, making a friend, that's going to be with you for the rest of your life. So it's, it's really any one day you can go in a grocery store and help somebody out for a second and it will make their life and it will make your day. So just keep being, uh, you know, you know, get out there, reach out and, and make some friends and then help other people. Absolutely. Dents is a giver. He has. I've been, in, I've been with him in a restaurant where he say, see those people over there? He tells waiter, tell them they just won a meal. 
I'll pick it up for you. <laughs> and you don't tell them I did that. Just tell them they want to. Just somebody will pick up. So he's the kind of guy that does a random act of kindness all the time. That's awesome. Now, remember, Georgie was going to be with us. I think that picture with me and George together, we were in a uh, episode called Repentance, uh, where they have, it was like Nigerian guards. And uh, anyway, when you get, get George back on, there's a photo of me and him. I was hoping he was going to be here. We talked about it. But you'll get George later on. Now, um there you have it we're gonna try to we're gonna try to do that where we can get george on as well he did have some prior obligations he was trying to get home after he worked a set he was actually working when we were doing this interview so um i can't wait to get him back on the set and again i'm going to make this collage with all the pictures and i'm going to put it on the facebook page um because i'm telling you guys this is as a fan, there is nothing greater than knowing the inside of the favorite series that you were watching and stuff like that. Because, you know, I got to meet William Shatner in person and I was blown away. Um, but meeting the stunt people, they had the ones that actually have the suit on to and doing stuff like that, like. Um, the guy that does the Mandalorian, the stuntman, there's two stuntmen. I would love to meet them. I'm not sure, sir. I want to meet Pedro Pascal now. I'd rather see the stuff. I'd rather have the stuntmen's autograph because they're the ones who are making him look good. You know what I mean? They're the ones with the the gunshot moves and the the the, the falling off the buildings, as they were saying, taking headers and all this other stuff. There's no way in the world I could do what they do. None, none. Catch on fire, jumping out of planes. These men are amazing. And women, the stunt men and women that make us love our fandom. So there I am saying it again, like, yeah, there's just no way I could do what you guys do. And it, it just. No. Hey, listen, look, next time, and yes, you got us whenever you need us, we'll get Georgie and another buddy, Irving Lewis, who I knew in. in eighth grade and he came out to hollywood after i made it and irving's been in all the star trek so we got we got a great team we'll get georgie back and irving and tom and we'll talk about some other cool stuff it can't be under it cannot be understated what an effect that you had on an entire generation both, yes both of you. yes I, in my novels that i write the fight scenes that i write i don't envision them like john wick I envision them like the fight scenes in Star Trek. Yeah, me too. Like this, it, it's not kissing your ass to say that there's a reason why I have Star Trek stuff all around me and that like we look to the Klingons of the badass warriors that they are. It, it, you know, uh, Michael Dorn did a great job with the, the role, but whenever the fight scene started, you guys stepped in there and made magic happen. Thank you for what you did. Okay, thank you. And uh, you were talking about kissing the butt. Well, you know what? We like our butts. Our butts getting kicked. <laughs> there you go. There you Man, go. it's just that stuff still tickles me when he says that. Michael Dorn was pretty good with the back. He cracked the butt. So, you know, when you're doing a, you're doing a movie, what you're trying to do when you're, you're cutting pieces of cellular together, and when you can have an actor that can do a lot of stuff, and when you do your action, you can overlap with them, and it works. That's where Michael was. He could do a lot of, it, a lot of that fight stuff he was able to do, and when we do the other, when we put it together, it was, it was seamless. So give Michael some credit for that battle. Yes, sir. Just that whole interview just blew my mind. Now I know Michael Dorn can actually wield a a uh, bat lift, which is, you know, crazy to me. But, you know, hey, you know, maybe he's really about that life. You know what I mean? And this was such, again, such an honor to have these two gentlemen come on. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> love that. Like, the man's still going to see. <laughs> 
And, you know, I got to thank Dennis so much. Dennis Danger, Matt alone for everything that he's done. And, of course, Mr. Tom Morga and, um, and George, who was trying to make it. And we're going to get him on the show as soon as possible as well. But, again, guys, um, and that, my friends, was the interview. I cannot wait to get them back here to give you guys a little bit more of, you know, the stuntmen. And uh, for all that they do, making our fandoms look great, giving us that, that feeling of, you know, that our heroes are great. And we need that. You know, we truly need that in this, in this time that, we don't have these iconic things going on anymore and that we still have our good old fashioned shows that can make us feel good or, you know, thrill us with the stunts that they do. So next time here on the cosmic portal, portal talk, we're going to, we're going to definitely have them back. We're going to definitely have them back. Um, a matter of when I'm going to try to get them back sometime this month. Yeah, I owe it to you guys to have a good show. Me and Bo coming back to interview these three stuntmen with, um, with Marky Mark. And I'm telling you guys, it is going to be awesome. It is going to be a show to remember. So please uh, stay tuned and uh, check us out then. So life, prosperity, and health be with you.